Uh, hello and welcome back to Serious About Salvage, another video on the channel. Uh, so today we're going to crack on again with the TTS and hopefully get it fully built up in this video. I think I've got everything we need. There might be a bit of trim missing from the bumper. Uh, but other than that it should be able to go all back together and look like a car. So we've got the wing. The wing and the bumper are now here and painted. So this is our wing. So that's going to go on first which will mean we can then put the washer bottle back in. We can um, sort out all these little pumps for the washer bottle and the washer jets for the headlights. And then we can also put the splash guard in. Uh, we've then got the bumper. We've got the bumper skin here. Again, painted, ready? So that needs building up as well. We have the replacement TTS grill there. And then we've got all the bits out of the old bumper over there to put back in the pedestrian protection stuff and all that. Uh, wash pipe for the headlights. And then we've got the under tray. So like I said, I think we've got everything here now to put this back together. And um, yeah, see, see how we get on there. Right, let's get going. Okay, so there's the wing on. Like you saw, I did get the washer bottle in. It's all plumbed up. All the connections are in place. And yeah, it's looking an okay match. The door's still dirty, so um, might get a bit better when that's been washed. There is a little bit of a dent there as well, unfortunately. Shows up more now the wing's there. But yeah, getting, getting there now. Off camera, I decided to put the bumper together. So this is the bumper. You'd be surprised how many bits there is in these bumpers. It takes a while. And this bottom section is the piece that we're missing. And there's a little bit of a trim just to go on there. Like this side. Uh, so when they come, I'll put them in afterwards. But we're ready now to be fitting this bumper onto the car. So, let's just get it back on stand, a bit of time lapse, and in no time it'll be looking like a car again.
Ah, there we go. Button, buttoned up all that bumper, splash guards in, um, connected up all the washer hose, everything like that. And yeah, it's looking like a car. That looks really smart now, actually. I do have a little bit of adjustment still to do on the bonnet on the far side. Um, like I said, we do need to put a centre grille on the bottom of it. And there's a little bit of trim for the grille on the driver's side at the bottom. Still missing two little bits of under tray as well. Uh, I'll show you when we actually get them. So what we're gonna do now is I'll stop, I'll stop recording for now. I'll get these bits and uh, we'll come back again at, in this video still. We'll service it, we'll do the Haldex, fit them bits of grill, and uh, it'll be completely finished with and gone with. Because uh, I don't think there's much in this video so far, really. So yeah, but there, yeah, look at that. Really nice, really nice looking car. Coming together well. So for you, it'll be minutes, well, seconds. For me, it's gonna be a few days, but I'll see you shortly. Okay, so finally back on the TTS. And we've made a start. I'm on with the service. We've got the oil drain in there. And the bits of trim that I was referring to underneath, this was one of them. This little corner piece, we were missing that. And obviously I need to fit the other one yet. But the next job is to fit a new outside temp sensor because we somehow lost the old one. Or should I say it got ripped off. That's the plug for it there. Okay, we'll just sit tied up at the minute. So I need to fit this because at the minute the the fans are running non-stop because it doesn't melt the outside temperature. So once this is on, it should solve that issue. Uh, and then there's not really much more to do. Fit the rest of the under trays, fill the oil up. And we still need to service this Aldex yet. There's your little Aldex motor. So we'll try and get onto that as well. And hopefully get the job done. Right, there we go. So we're done with the TTS. There's a couple of little bits still to do, but the car's actually going now. It's gonna be used for a bit um, because we, we're still missing a part or two and the guy sold his car, so he needs to use it. So this is gonna be the last that you see of the TTS. Um, it won't be coming back on the channel. So really all there is left is that little tiny grill at the bottom in the middle. Don't know if you can even see on the camera, but that's still missing. So we need to, uh, well he's ordered it, it should have been here today, but it's, it isn't. And of course the little silver trim from the driver's side grille, which all like the passenger side, a little bit of silver trim missing. But other than that, it's done. And uh, yeah, it's off, it's off now. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look around it. We've serviced it, we've done the Aldex, it's, uh, it's ready to go. A nice, nice, um, nice car. I think I've shown you inside, but we'll have another quick look. Oh. Nice black seats. Oh, your virtual cockpit. Car is nice and warm, it's just come in from outside. Oh. So yeah, that is gonna be it for this car. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this one be put on the, back on the road. I've enjoyed doing it. It's, it's, uh, the complex cars these new Audis though, there's, there's so many little bits and pieces. You never know until you start pulling apart all the extra bits that you need, all the bits of under trays, all the separate little cowlings and bits and pieces. It soon mounts up, so not, not cheap cars to put back on the road these, not at all. Even if they look like they're cheap from auction, soon, soon mounts up. So I'm going to leave it there. As always, thank you very much for watching these videos. If you do like them, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Come on, look what's here. The RCZR is back. But that's for another video. Right, yes, thank you as always. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.